New at six alumni and former members of the Board of Trustees at Knoxville College are calling for action after a massive fire destroyed a building on campus late last night. This captured the city's attention with those flames. 10 News reporter Emily Crabtree spoke with board members to talk about their hopes for the future of that school. Hurtful and frustrating because I'm not I've not been in a position to make those positive things happen. Former board members and alumni of Knoxville College are expressing their thoughts after last night's fire. The college has seen at least 10 fires on its campus since the early 2000s, but that's not stopping the hopes for the school to make a comeback. They're all historic. Eight of them are already on the federal registry. The, the remaining ones only require an application that could be approved in a matter of six months by the federal government, right? And therefore, funds immediately come in. Dr. Franklin Tate is an alumni of Knoxville College and a former Board of Trustees member. He says he and others are trying to get the school on the National Register of Historic Places. He hopes that would allow the school to apply for grants for restoration. Dr. Daisha Lundy, the school's former vice president, also issued us a statement that said in part, quote, Last night's fire has reignited a call to honor Knoxville College's legacy and purpose, end quote. She says she's frustrated by what she calls the board's neglect. She says she wants to see Knoxville College's full restoration. Though the fire has added frustration, the efforts to help the school are still ongoing. That's my personal confidence uh, about Knoxville College's future financially. Because we literally have a rich history. So all we got to do is get out and tell it. In Knoxville, I'm Emily Crabtree. We did reach out several times to leaders at Knoxville College, but we have yet to hear back. The cause of that fire is under investigation, and you can read more about Knoxville College right now at WBIR.com.